Welcome to this next lecture on the case history regarding hypercholesterolemia and heart failure. So in this lecture, we will be talking about symptoms and causes and basically starting with the symptoms of hypercholesterolemia. Usually there are no symptoms of hypercholesterolemia in most people. However, if someone has severe hypercholesterolemia, they may have cholesterol deposits on the skin of the eyelid, which is called as enthalasma, or connective tissue deposits called as enthoma may be seen. Also, there may be a deposition of cholesterol in, inside the eye's cornea, which is known as corneal arcus. So what are the symptoms? of hypercholesterolemia. You can say that usually it's symptomless. Sometimes patients may complain of muscle pains or myalgias as well and they will be having high blood pressure. So usually if someone comes with high blood pressure and myalgias or joint pains it is always advisable to do cholesterol levels, lipid profile and uric acid levels in these patients. Now let's move on to causes of hypercholesterolemia. Causes of hypercholesterolemia include familial hypercholesterolemia or genetic reasons. Dietary causes which includes a lot of saturated fatty acids or trans fats, lack of exercise or sedentary lifestyle, increased consumption of tobacco products, obstructive liver disease, diabetes mellitus. Hypothyroidism may be associated with hypercholesterolemia, anorexia nervosa, which is an eating disorder, may lead to hypercholesterolemia. Patients having chronic kidney disease may develop hypercholesterolemia, nephrotic syndrome, certain medications like amiodarone, and rosiglitazone can lead to hypercholesterolemia. Cyclosporine and hydrochlorothiazide diuretic can lead to hypercholesterolemia as well. Now let's move on to diagnosis and tests or investigations used in hypercholesterolemia. How is hypercholesterolemia diagnosed? Usually at the annual physical examination, the healthcare provider will ask you about your medical history and family's health, do a physical examination, order a lipid panel blood test, which is usually done after a period of fasting. Which test should be done to diagnose hypercholesterolemia? Once your provider rules out all the causes of hypercholesterolemia, they can do a genetic testing. If you have pure hypercholesterolemia or familiar hypercholesterolemia, provider may suggest genetic testing for your family. So this was something about the causes of hypercholesterolemia, symptoms of hypercholesterolemia and diagnosis. Let's talk a little bit about management and treatment of hypercholesterolemia. How is hypercholesterolemia treated? Hypercholesterolemia treatment involves bringing down your low-density lipoprotein levels to prevent heart disease. This can be done in several ways, which include exercising more, being more active, staying at a healthy weight, eating foods low in saturated fats. So basically, good exercise, better meals is the key to treatment of hypercholesterolemia lowering your stress levels, using medications which lower cholesterol levels, which include statins like rosuvastatin, atorvastatin, stop smoking and avoiding of tobacco products, controlling high blood pressure and blood sugar levels. It is important to maintain a healthy lifestyle with less sugar, low salt, control of blood pressure as well. Drinking enough water is another key to reducing blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Having lipoprotein hepheresis 
a device to take lipoproteins out of the blood and then putting your blood back into the body is a method which is done in severe hypercholesterolemia. Lipoprotein apheresis is the term used for that. This is done in advanced medical centers. So this was a little bit about symptoms of hypercholesterolemia, causes, diagnosis, and management. In the next trial, we will discuss a little bit more about hypercholesterolemia management. Thank you for watching and see you soon.